Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of converting a double integral into polar coordinates. In this example we're going to find the integral, x goes from 0 to 1, y goes from 0 to the square root of 1 minus x squared of y times the square root of x squared plus y squared, and then I'm going to have a dy dx by converting to polar coordinates. So we recall that the polar coordinate transformation does several things. Polar coordinates asserts that the double integral over region D of f of xy dx dy is equal to the double integral over another region D tilde, a polar region, f of r cosine theta, r sine theta, and then I have an r dr d theta. So three things change when you convert to polar coordinates. The x's turn into r cosine thetas. The y's in the problem turn into r sine thetas. The area element, the dA, the dx dy, the differential element, turns into r dr d theta, the sector area. So rectangular areas turn into sector areas. And finally, the limits of integration will change from d to d tilde. So let's see what will happen when we do our problem. In our problem, let's sketch our region of integration. In our problem, x goes between 0 and 1. So x goes between 0 and 1. And y goes between 0 and this curve over here. Well, this curve is what? If y is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared, that tells me that y squared is equal to 1 minus x squared, or x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. That's the unit circle. So I'm in the unit circle. I'm on the part of the unit circle that's in the first quadrant. So this is our region of integration. Of course, this rectangular region of integration can be turned into a polar region of integration by noting that this region d tilde in polar coordinates will be the set of all r and theta in our example. Well, the radius here, the angles, theta, go between 0 and pi over 2. So theta is between 0 and pi over 2. And then the radius goes from 0 up to 1. 0 less than r less than or equal to 1. And so in other words, if we look at the r theta axis, so if this is the theta axis and this is the r axis, then what we see over here is that this region in polar coordinates is just a rectangular region in polar coordinates. That's why changing the limits of integration from rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates works well in this problem. Now, we simply change all the variables. So now, our limits of integration become the integral. What does theta do? Theta goes between 0 and pi over 2. The radius goes between 0 and 1. And then I have y. I replace y's with r sine theta. So I have r sine theta. And then I have the square root of x squared plus y squared. So that's going to be the square root of r cosine theta squared plus r sine theta squared, and then I have an r dr d theta. So I've changed my limits, I've changed my function inside the integrand, and I've changed my area differential. I've changed all three things. So now we can notice that this is the integral from 0 to pi over 2, the integral from 0 to 1. Then I have an r. This integral over this, this square root over here is going to simplify just to r. So I have r cubed sine theta, then I have a dr and a d theta, and now here I can rectangular separate because I have a function of r times a function of theta. So by rectangular separation, rectangular separation, by rectangular separation, this is the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of the sine of theta, d theta, times the integral from 0 to 1 of r cubed dr. And now the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of sine of theta is equal to 1. That's the area under half a crest of sine. So that integral is equal to 1. That first integral is equal to 1. Then I'll have an r to the fourth over 4 from 0 to 1. And then what we'll have over here is that we'll have that this is what? So then we'll have a 1 quarter. 
So this integral turns into one quarter, and we see that by changing this problem to polar coordinates, we got a relatively simple integral that resulted from the coordinate change. When we change coordinates, three things happen. The limits of integration, d to d tilde changes. The variables x and y change. x and y, in this case, change to r cosine theta and r sine theta. And then my dA, my area differential, turns into this new area differential dA tilde, which is r dr d theta. Those three things have to change in the polar coordinate transformation. Thank you very much.